Hello everyone, Princess and the Bear here, and today we're at Coral Reef. Coral Reef. We're here to try out their new uh, menu options. They just changed the menu. There's a new vegan dessert we want to try, and a, yep. and a couple of uh, omnivore options for me. So we are back here at your request, and we'll put our previous video in the description box down below. Yeah, the one we did with Fancy, right? Yeah, for yeah. Dapper Day. That'll be down below. I want to hear what you think about yeah. uh, the changes in the menu here, whether it's something you're going to miss or you're excited for the new things, and we'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Mushroom that tastes like lobster has me skeptical, but we'll see. Disney surprised me before. Consistency's close. Tastes not so much. Lobster's very distinct. It's the spirit of the dish. It definitely works for that. But I wouldn't say it tastes like lobster. However, it is really good. So, give it three and a half out of five plus. Notice some lovely allergy bread. This looks a lot different and better than normal allergy bread that you get. It is vegan, it's not wheat, it's white. And it comes with some earth balance. Alright. Mm. I like this a lot. It doesn't taste like heavy dough, like the gluten free stuff usually does. It's, um, it's really light and fluffy. I like it a lot. It feels nice and light in the hand. A nice little crust to it. Give it a shot. What do you know? 
actually tastes like a roll and not like a pancake. Three out of five claws. It's my bread. They look and smell like Hawaiian rolls. Probably are. Just a smidge of butter because I don't want to die. Standard less sweet Hawaiian roll. Three out of five claws. Nothing amazing, but still good. is just a fancy word for fried. I feel like they really drenched my salad. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty bland, actually. This one's a bummer. Much better. Ooh. Here's what we're gonna do. A little veggie. Get some of this on top. No, no. Bad fork today. Mm. Oh, this is good. Perfectly charred, cooked, the seasoning is there. Mm. I haven't even tasted my food yet, I need this whole thing. This four and a half out of five claws. This is definitely tasty. So I got swordfish. We like swordfish. Put some cantonelli beans, tomatoes, arugula. And then there's some capers in here too. Fish is perfectly cooked, flaky, seasoned. Capers are a nice touch. I don't know how I feel about the beans. The 
means for it to get him and cook a little bit longer. It kind of brings the rest of the plate down. I don't know if I'd order it again, but it is decent. Three out of five plus. Plant-based dessert with alcohol in it. I'm excited for this. The waitress said you have to try all three layers in one bite. So here we go. A mousse from Paris. It's incredible. I would come here just for this. This is so good. Thank you to our viewer for recommending Coral Reef so that we can try this amazing dessert. I love it. So it's good to see a shot. Not really too good at like spoons and layers. I'm not a dessert person, so we'll see. Easy enough on the spoon. Mm. Each one gives a different flavor. Each layer. It's really good. I can never eat a hole in this. I'm glad I'm splitting it with a princess, but this is good. I can see this being like something that I would get almost every time we came here. Four out of five plus. Hello everyone, so we just finished at Coral Reef. This has been my favorite dining experience at Coral Reef. The, out of every dining experience I have had, period, at Coral Reef. And my favorite dish was always the chick un with the forbidden rice, which has been gone for a few years now. The vegetable skewers are way better. I so know. good. I would have to agree. Uh, my food was average. It wasn't bad. It wasn't anything fantastic to like, blow my mind, but her food was amazing. I kind of wish I got her food. I think all the vegan stuff is better than my food. It's an odd turn. I was going to say, it's safe to say that uh, you definitely like the vegan food better. Yeah, I, I lose this one. But uh, either way, I'd definitely say if you're a vegan, come here and try this out. You're going to be very well surprised. The entree is good, the dessert's good, the appetizer is good. Can't lose. For a place that's dated and hasn't really changed at all, I'm glad they're changing up their menus because they're doing good. Well, until next time. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon.